hey guys thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel we are gonna be doing a fun lip swatch video and this is a brand new launch from Byredo. I believe this is like their second lip product they had their traditional lipsticks this is their liquid lipsticks if you love seeing these kinds of fun swatch videos uh, definitely consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already um, it really helps my channel out makes my content reach like-minded enthusiasts beauty lovers like you and me so let's get right into it so this retails for a very expensive $50 a piece um, and this is called I got this in the shade red coma <laughs> so when I first got it I wasn't expecting to see the actual name as like big and flashy like this but the uh, name of the product it's is actually I think hang on it doesn't actually say the name here but it's a very interesting name it's called it's hang on it is written in Italian is is this Italian I'm not sure but this is made in Italy and this is by the brand Byredo it has a list of ingredients at the back and this is called I'm gonna write the name it it's something Thar Desert like the the only Thar Desert I know is the desert in India that actually it falls in India and Pakistan and I wasn't very sure about the name to be honest when I saw this I was like why would somebody name a desert a lip product hang on why would someone name a lip product after a desert you know you want your lip product to be moisturizing doesn't matter if it, what, it, what kind of finish it has if it's like a glossy like the one I have the one I have is actually uh, Tower 28's lip jelly in the shade spicy it's like just like a red and I am in love with this like sunset look that I did like a matte sunset look I haven't done a sunset look in so long <laughs> it was like this is what this is 2010s right it's like whoa anyways I was a little skeptical because why would they call themselves a Thar Desert and a lip product that way and I was like no now why am I taking this off hmm it's not your time but that doesn't matter I was curious and I got it the one we uh, I tried last time from Byredo was intensely pigmented but it was it needed some kind of like a Vaseline or lip balm underneath but this one let's see the pack it came in a sleeve like this yeah and, and then inside housed a lid came in its own little bag and inside was this little very misshapen look at that it's just a misshapen like gunmetal liquid lipstick I saw this and the first thing that came to mind was the movie alien that I was watching everything that movie was just this color everything every uh, the fur I watched part one and part two everything that movie was like exactly this color like gunmetal it's like that's what it reminds and you see how like it's it looks like an amoeba right it looks like an amoeba it's a very interesting shape it just looks like clay to be honest look at that if you know what this signifies or represents for Byredo if you know what it is let me know but you know it's like I am at loss okay and the shade is red coma and when I saw it like it better put me in a coma like in a makeup coma you know because for the price it's fifty dollars so inside is just a like a pointy it's like an oval shaped applicator the red is crazy intense when I saw it it does have like a faint flowery scent and the swatch was I my jaw dropped when I swatched it on my arm I was like this is neon this is neon to the point that I was like is it too orangey because uh, hang on let me show you <laughs> enough said right the name is so right it definitely will put you in a red coma it put me for sure because after I put this lipstick on I was just staring at myself in the mirror I was like looking at myself in different lighting natural lighting 
bathroom lighting, the regular LED lighting, I don't know what else lighting. I was taking pictures of myself. Guys, boys and girls, are you seeing this? It's like insane. <laughs> I do not have a lipstick this insane, so intense. Okay, I quickly wanted to uh, talk about the formula and also show my intense reds. I definitely, because this calls for a comparison. I usually don't like do comparisons with red. They're all the blue tone red, there's orangey reds. Like, all right, even if they're a little different, it's not a big deal, right? But, oh, I'm sorry, my, my oils are like seeping out. But this calls for a real comparison, so I have with me Lisa's more Velvet Morning. This is in, I was positive by the intensity of this lipstick that this was close to this, but no, this is actually a true orange red. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but in person I could. I put Velvet Morning in lower lip and I put Red Coma in the upper lip and they were different. They were very different. So I don't know if you can tell the difference, but this is more orangey and this is like almost pinky. It's, it's, it's an almost like pinky red. It's definitely on the blue toned compared to Velvet Morning. Velvet Morning is definitely like orange, orange toned kind of a lipstick. And then I also got some YSLs. These, those Tatouage Couture lipsticks are kind of intense. I'm not going to lie. So... I got the true red. I think this is the true red I got from Tatouage. The other, I got the others too. You know what? Let's try these two together. These two are like the red, red colors from like a bright red colors. So this is in the shade 203. These, this is the Tatouage Couture Velvet Lipsticks. So this is Velvet Morning and this is Red Coma. That is more pinky. Yeah. That is also a vibrant color. That is in the shade 203. That looks more pinky, more blue toned, right? And this is 208. <laughs> this is so blue toned, it looks pink, but it's not. This is 208. I think 208 might be, no, nope. I'm telling you in person, Red Coma is so vibrant. It's scary vibrant. I ha I do not have a lipstick that is this close. Just FYI. Just so. Those are the comparisons. Those are my brightest reds I've got. And mm -mm, nothing, nothing comes closer to Red Coma. So if you are a red fan, you have to save that $50 and get it. There's no other way, <laughs> to be honest. I don't see or I cannot think of any other dupes that comes closer uh, to red coma it really puts you in a coma i'm telling you um and okay let's talk about formula i like the formula on the biorito more than i like the ysl now um this is a very different lipstick this is a traditional cream lipstick Whereas these two are the liquid lipsticks, but the transferable. So both of them transfer. YSL and the Byredo one transfers. It is not a transfer proof liquid lipstick at all. So this, uh, the Byredo one is actually much more creamier. It can feel the creaminess. Like when I, when I press my lip, I can feel the creaminess. It's not the dry slip creamy. It's like that creamy creaminess. I love it. And it is not transfer proof. It is like a vibrant. There is no difference. There is no difference. Look at that vibrancy. This is like this is like unheard of. Like what were they thinking, right? It's like unheard of. Crazy. Just crazy. Um so, do you need to spend $50 on this? Is it necessary? I think if you love the red color or if you like any other like color that is just like uh I don't know. I think the this particular red stands out. That's why I'm telling you, you have, if you love red, save that $50 and get it because it is kind of very funny looking. It's very interesting. It, it will definitely take up a lot of space. And I did not tell you how much you get. You don't get a whole lot for $50, my friends. You don't get a whole lot. You get only four milliliters. 
I would say like seven milliliter, okay, six milliliters is a really, really good amount for a liquid lipstick. And that too, I know it's, it's expensive. I do think they could have given us more, but it is a very, very bulky product. It's a very bulky product. Look, look how much is like, like sticking out other than the actual container of the lipstick. Like this, like half an, not a half an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch is sticking out. Um, this side is like even less than a quarter, but still it's like so much. It's like so thick. It, a, a product, a cosmetic product shouldn't be like this, this big. A diameter of like this much needs to be taken and it's pretty tall too. So all in all, it's a bulky packaging good really really good formula and the color is to die for if you are a red lover so that that's it i think the ball's in your court depends on what you're looking for and how much you're willing to spend but for me i'm keeping it i'm, I'm keeping it so yep i really hope this video helped you make a decision what are you thinking about it do you think it's like too too much uh let me know down below in the comment section come say hi i would love to meet you bye